Oh, sh Sam? Turn into a cloud. Right there, Sam. Leave it in the window, Dad. Right where I had it. That's what it said in instruction. Just leave oh, it in okay. the window. Okay. I don't know who you're supposed to wave it at. I think he already knows where he's taking us. Oh. Who did that test that's now for? What the hell are you going to do? Monitors on infant advisory frequency on 126.075. Also reaching the departure runway. Follow the instructions of the air traffic controllers with orange shirts for runway assignment. If assigned, runway ones are right. Monitor FA controls on frequency 127.85 for departure instructions. If directed to runway ones are left. Monitor FA controllers on frequency 133.85 for departure instructions. After departure, fly at least three miles straight out before turning on course. Use extreme caution. For we got our altimeter set, huh? Lake Parker due to arrival traffic. Nope. Yep. 6-0 at Niner. Visibility, 1-0. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 2-9. Dew point, runway, 1-0 right. I'm thinking maybe we'll just fly out here and then go up. But it says avoid Parker and Hancock. So do we just turn left and go that way? But then we're going to cross their path. Yes. Do not call ground control for taxi. Exactly. Unless you turn right and go around. Oh, this guy's coming all the way up. I think if we climb above their altitude, they're at 1,200 feet. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? It's pretty easy yeah. for us to get above that. Just come outside of the hazard area here. That's four nautical miles there. So if we come outside of this, we should have five. And by the time we get there, we'll be climbed out enough to be ahead of 5,000, right? Look at all these people waiting on us. <laughs> wow. We're going to listen to the tower and see what he's telling yep. other people. Yep. Hey, blue, check your tail. Runway 10 left, cleared for takeoff. Everybody departing the skinny runway with me. If you can hear my voice, make sure you give me that 10 left on departure. 10 left. And after three miles, Hasta Luega. We haven't done it. We haven't done a run up. You gotta believe this over this side. But uh, seven kilo echo is it? Uh, up to the green cone, please. Seven kilo echo. Yeah, there you go. Up to the green cone. They're not messing around. Got one on the right. Bobby, I'll go ahead and do it. For Charlie Romeo, left side of Rene one zero right up to the green cones when you're comfortable. One pop of golf right side of Rene one zero right up to the cones when you're hey. comfortable. Romeo, let go. All right, I guess you're going to go. For anyone to your right, flip a dig off. Watch that guy in the upwind. Don't go, Sirius. Floaty Mall, left side of anyone. Actually, kind of right. You're on the right already. Just stay on the right side. Up to the green cone. It's going to be line up away. Doing this. Floaty Mall, keep it rolling. One zero right, flip a dig off. Okay, so we gotta go around clockwise. Three, four, X-ray, left side of Rene one zero right up to the green cones. Line of play, it's gonna be a second. I got an amphib off the nose. I want a little more spacing. 
Fox Sierra, right side. You're going to line up next to the Mooney at the green cones. Line up and wait. Okay, line up and wait. Wait right, right here, huh? Mooney, 3-4 X-ray. Keep your eyes on that uh, floaty mall up there. Straight out for three miles before you turn on course. I want nobody going over Lake Parker. If you can avoid it, one direct right opening off. It's okay. Ball, I swear, give me a right 10 degree turn. We're going to do just a little bit of an offset for me. I got some speed coming up behind you. No way. On the right hand side. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Lay that piece of paper down and fill in the hole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 10 degrees to the right for me. 4-7 Victor, the Cessna upwind is 10 to the right. I want you straight out. You now we're going to turn to the right, huh? Right. After we get three miles out. Everybody that is uh, straight out three miles, no turns before. Yeah, straight out three miles and then turn right. So we got a little ways to keep some client out. Altitude due. Traffic, 4 o'clock, 1 mile, 500 feet below. The wind was blowing me over the runway. I seen that. <laughs> Inside I didn't feel no wind from out to anything just until we started to fly. Sorry, I was panicking. I couldn't get the gear down. There's too much going on at once. <laughs> yeah. Traffic 11 o'clock, one nautical mile. 500 feet below us. It's a beautiful sight seeing all you guys lined up for departure. All right, just let you guys know, as we come up to the runway, make sure you're watching the flagman. You'll either be going to 10 right or 10 left. If you're going across 10 right over to 10 left, make sure you change to that other frequency. You'll see the frequency and some folks with some paddles on the other side. Make sure you get on the right frequency if you're going over to that skinny runway. On this right side, we are lining up right and left. Everybody's going to pull up to the green cone. As your buddy in front of you moves, you continue That's to it. move up to that There's the other plane right there. Right or left side of the yep. runway, we'll assign that to you. Sam right up for wing. Yeah, he's off to the left, yep. Six Tango Papa, you're gonna be on the left side of runway ten right. Traffic. Left side of runway ten right, pull up to the green cone. Same altitude. And now we're turning out to the right. Right side of ten right. Pull up to the green cone for me. Yep, it says nine o'clock. We're three miles out now. Everybody I'll go ahead and do a left. Do a left. We don't quite have the runway yet. We're just getting you guys ready. Oh. Four mic off on the left Nine side. On the well, left I see side three of them headed that way. You're right. Line up behind the mini for me. Four of them, five of them, six of them. The beach. One alpha mic could be right side for you. Hey, try not to right. catch him. Behind the uh, Sears. If you don't piss off if we knock the paint off of his there. In front of you, the parts. One, two, tango. You know how particular the rich guys are. When they're in front of you, right side, just pull up behind him. Do you see anybody over there? Nope. Keep looking, because it says there's people over there. Ten right on the left side. Drop me down underneath of it quite a bit. There, pull up behind the twin. It's going to be on the left side of ten right. And Mike Canard, go ahead and go Seven on that left Yeah, don't go over the lake, it says. So keep one making your left. One mile, 300 yep, feet above. Whatever, don't go over the lake. You guys are looking good out there. Again, as the person in front of you moves up, if you'll move up to the green cone as we start the departures here in just a second. Number seven, uh, Julia, go right side, pull up behind the Cessna for me. There you go, just stay to the right. The hell was that? You're going to go in the center. Just go in the center uh -huh. behind those two there in front of you, behind, or, uh, beside, or in front of, behind the canard and the uh, Julia Dolph there. 
Remember, everybody, as we depart, we're going to fly three miles out until turning on course, unless we tell you to offset. Do not fly over land. It looks like we're pretty clear. Six Tango Papa, running one zero right, clear for takeoff. I don't see nothing around us. Yep, yep. They're over the lake and over the airport, that's all we got. There's so many of them behind us, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hope they don't catch us. <laughs> yeah, let them change some of their fuel out so they'll go slower. Run a one zero right, you are clear for takeoff. All right. We're four Mike Golf, running one zero right, clear for takeoff. Three, four, X-ray. Two at golf. Keep it tight with the uh, cardinal off your nose if you can. Code Should be able to see a whole bunch of planes down there going around in circles. The center, all the way up to the green when you uh, green cone. Yeah, I see them on the screen here. One alpha mic. I want you to go ten degrees to the right. Watch hey, go on. the wind is parting. One zero. Buck rise around the lake. Everybody up to the green cones when you're able to line up and wave. Well, we're way above them, so. Oh, I see them. Left side. One zero right. Clifford, take off. Over the building. Oh yeah, yeah, we're above them, so the ground's going to be under us. We're seeing them. One two tango, one two runway, one zero right close to golf. Six Echo Sierra, you're going to line up on the right side. Over in a one zero right at the green cones with the Kodiaks in the center. So leave Looks the like we're there. doing good. Eight Victor, left side, we're in a one zero right line up and wait behind the Kodiak. Canard, in a one zero right, cleared for takeoff. Car uh, 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 we're out of the airspace. Woo. I figured, uh, yep. my plan was to taxi out of the green cones and I was going to real quick do a run up. But then he yep. said, go. And yeah. I thought, well, I'll be able to tell if it don't have enough power. Yeah. If it's not 2,600, at least 2,600, something wrong. Yeah. And I did do left, right while we were taxiing. Okay, yeah. And it didn't quit. So we know <laughs> we don't have a bad one. We don't have a bad problem. Yep. Man, but then I forgot the flaps. You notice I forgot the takeoff flaps until we yep. were rolling. Yeah. And then the wind started blowing me over a little bit. I forgot which way the wind was coming from. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the darn gear wouldn't go up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm drifting over the other runway where the other guys are taking off. And he told me to correct 10 to the right, I think. Yeah. It was then I noticed I was drifting and I fixed it, but man. Yeah, I'd be pretty tickled. We're out, though. Yep, there ain't no more traffic in our way. They should uh, give you more time to run up and stuff, like give you a spot. Like, where were we supposed to run up? Yep, right. Were we supposed to do it sitting there in the in the dirt? No. <laughs> With an airplane behind us? Yeah, blowing shit all over the camp. Yeah, blowing no. shit all over, yes. There was that little spot there that was some people parked, but that was a parking area. That wasn't yeah. a run-up area. Yeah, they need to get the hell out of the way. I'm going to try to go over those clouds. Was oh, that the heater? No, it's the air, ram air open. Ram air. Give us more. Boost pressure, bypass the air cleaner. Oh. Oh, there's an airplane heading towards us. Traffic, 12 across, oh, 2 miles, 600 feet above. Sam? Run into a cloud? Right there, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty close. Same altitude. I think it's like a TBN or something. Yeah, he was descending. He was descending and I was ascending and we were on a, a collision course. Yeah. Huh. That's yeah? A, that's a gear horn I told you about. Gear horn? Beep. Oh. But we can't hear it because we're on COM-1. We go to COM 2. Hear it? I hear that. That's what you're hearing outside. We're going to slow down a little because I bet it's bumpy under that cloud. Yep. 
And it looks like we're going to have to go under it. It's it now. It's nice and solid. But we're above it. Yep. Kind of scary when you're up here, especially by yourself, coming across something like this. Uh huh. Just the power of Mother Nature. If we wanted to, we just. I hope you don't forget or forget something. <laughs> if you wanted to, but Mother Nature just grab us and spit us out. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. This kind of stuff's fun to me. Yep. Messing around just a little bit with the weather. Yeah. Clouds. Pretty neat. Wasn't bam. There it is. Yeah. There's an updraft. A different temperature. Can you turn the uh, brightness down? Up on Kipling. There you go. Helps with night vision. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Down. Made it. We made it. 